Luke and Jake here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and we're here on the beaches of Alaska. We're surf fishing for halibut, truck camping, eating good food, and having a good time. Yeah! yeah. Me and Tommy, we're heading out to go catch some hooligan. Hooligan, hooligan. Oh, it's nasty weather out there, Tom. Here's where it gets wet. We're walking. Got it. Let's go try a spot with a little bit less wind, shall we? Yeah. Oh, let's take a look at this spot. You got it? There you go. There's this little fish called a candlefish or a hooligan or a smelt. And every spring they come and migrate from the ocean up into the rivers. Oh, they just got some right there. Now that's the spot you want, the one that's out of the rain. That right there is a hooligan. There we go, got two. Oh, you got another one, Tom? All right, you go for it. I like this thing where you just catch them. You got more, Tom? There you go. They call him a candlefish because when you dry them up, you can light them on fire and they burn like gasoline. There's so much oil in it. Good job. And then just turn it up. Cool. Grab the net. Just, yeah. That's deep. I'm like, that's deep. Oh, there you go. Here you go. Hi, Check out this hooligan, he's got bite marks on him. Some fish or seal or something went after him. Everything loves to eat hooligan. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Not bad for about 30 minutes. Tom, Tom, are you cold? Yes. <laughs> it is miserable out there. But we did all right, we got a bucket of hooligan. Oh, righty. Woo, it's hooligan time! Now people eat the hooligan all the time. You can fry them, you can smoke them, you can extract the oil from them and use it in cooking and in preserving food. But it also makes really good halibut bait. And that's what I'm gonna be using mine for. Hooligan are an excellent bait, but they're kind of soft and they tear off the hook really easy. So we're gonna brine them to make them last longer and to toughen up. This is a product called Brine and Bite from a company called Procure. I'm just gonna go ahead and let those hooligans sit in the brine overnight. All right, the fish have been sitting here for a couple days and they're all brined up. Oh, hugs, hugs, oh, mommy yeah, hugs. I love you. I love you. Love you. Oh. All right, you ready to go halibut fishing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's check this out. This is Cook Inlet. This is a wonderful place to catch halibut. You can see there's a halibut boat there and there. This time of year, the halibut come in shallow to chase hooligan and herring and other bait fish. And so I'm gonna get my rods up and hopefully as the tide comes in, we're gonna get ourselves a halibut. It's kind of windy and cold today, but luckily we got a spot right by the water so we can watch our rods from the comfort of our car. I'm gonna drive the truck onto the beach a little bit, but gotta be careful. If it gets stuck, that tide comes in and your truck's gone. We got like a 20 foot tide here. Hey, hey. Hey, look at this. 
beach treasure. It's always good luck when you find a pair of pliers. We got two rods in the water, now we wait. Ah, ah. Got my fishing rods right there, I can see what's going on. Oh. There you go, bud. Little Hawaiian sweet bread rolls with some Nutella and banana, not too bad. Mm. This gentleman just offered me some salmon guts for halibut bait. Yeah, some of that roe. Oh, that's awesome. The real tough meat too is hard to steal, not like that frozen herring. I just saw these guys over here pull out a remote controlled boat to take their bait out. That is slick. I've heard about these for uh, shark fishing down in Florida, but I've never seen one in real life. Yeah, they're pretty interesting. This one uh, came with a fish finder. It's got a sonar on it. Uh, it's also got this little bait launcher on the back too. Oh, nice. So when you flip the switch on there, it just it'll open and it comes out the back. That is cool, man. I hope you get a big one, man. Yeah, thank you. It's a lot of money to spend on a remote control boat, but it keeps you from having to buy specialized surf rods and surf reels, and that'll save you a lot of money. Alright, I think it's time to check my bait and move my rods up the beach. Oh ho! That right there is a giant sculpin, or we used to call these Irish lords growing up. Look at the huge mouth on them. And they're covered in spines. They're also tough as nails. Well, there we go. That's probably what's been stealing my bait. All right, got the truck moved, the rods baited up. I think it's time to start thinking about dinner. Oh, that's a piece of coal right there. I will throw that on the fire. There's several places around here where coal comes up out of the beach. It's another chunk. Give me a sunny day with a light breeze and dry wood. Man, making a fire is easy. Think I need to sanitize my grill a little bit. Looks a little gooey. We've got some great food for dinner tonight. I'm excited. We have a ton of shish kebabs here. Pork loin with chunks of apple, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This bacon wrapped jalapeno stuffed with a savory cream cheese. The pitted dates wrapped in bacon. This is one of my absolute favorites. And chunks of chicken breast wrapped in more bacon. and chunks of chicken breast seasoned with Moroccan Raz El Hanout. It's a Moroccan spice blend, it's fabulous. Look at that, bacon wrapped chicken breast. Try this. Ooh, we gotta try this jalapeno here. Mm. The cream cheese I put inside the jalapenos has chives, cilantro, lime, peppers. It's it's fabulous. Mm. You like the pork and apple? My absolute favorite is the bacon wrapped dates. I had these for the first time this fall in Portugal. And I've been making them ever since. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You a little bit cold? Okay, here, come here. I'll take you back in. 
You get enough food or you want more? Um, got enough food. You got enough food? There you go. You good? Oh, hey, it's a little windy out here still. This is a little bit too much food for me and Jake. I think we might need to share some. You guys want some food? I got a little extra here. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Bacon wrap dates. Here, try one of those. Really? Looks like you guys are bringing game though. That was yeah. a good looking, good looking brats and dogs, man. You can see a guy way out there on a kayak. He's paddling out his bait. It's the same technique we use when we're shark fishing off the beach in Florida. It allows you to fish way further out and use much bigger baits. Oh, I think I just got a hit there. I just saw that rod just go crazy. I got something on here for sure. Oh, double sculpin. This little tiny fish could fit my whole hand in his mouth. The tide's getting a little too close to the truck for my liking. I think we need to pick it up and move. I got the rods repositioned and the high tide's gonna be in about two or three hours. So this is the beginning of the sweet time. Hopefully we'll get a hell of it. Jake, hey Jake, what's the matter? You need to poop? Okay. Really badly? Okay, I got you. Uh, okie dokie. Well. All right, you good? Everything work out? Yeah. Excellent. All buried. You ready? You a little tired, Jake? Yeah. All right, I'll get your sleeping bag out. We'll get you a bed made up. Take off everything. And then put that down. All right, there you go, buddy. All right, y'all snuggled in there, bud? Good. There's a bunch of people down there picking something up off the beach. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. It's almost like sea glass. And that's a type of agate, huh? Yeah, that's an agate. Oh, that is way cool. She says she makes stuff out of them. That's neat. Now that high tide's around the corner, a lot more people have showed up. We'll see if anyone lands a hell of it. I think it's time to freshen up my bait. Big sculpin. Tide's coming in pretty quick. That fire pit's almost underwater. Check it out, these guys are gonna launch a Zodiac off the beach and go fishing that way. Yeah. Looks like a lot of work, but might do the trick. Hey buddy, I just realized something. Yeah? We didn't eat our cookies. Ooh, nice peanut butter cookie there. Oh, Rod just got bit down there. I just saw someone running. All right, time to check my bait. Check the ratios, category four. Just got a good hit. I saw it hit hard enough to pull a little slack. We'll see. Well, buddy, did you enjoy the movie? Yeah. You know what time it is, though? Bedtime. All right, buddy, you going to bed? All right, get snuggle up, buddy. Well, that one rod got a good bite, nothing happened, so uh, we need to check the bait. There you go. I got some big hits right there. Oh, what do we got? Oh, that is certainly a big sculpin. Size of that thing. Ah. I thought we had something there. Yeah, it's been nothing but sculping, sculping, sculping here. It's a little disappointing. The tide's going out pretty aggressively and it's late. I think it's time to get some sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and reel up these rods. Oh, I'll tell you what guys, I am exhausted and Jacob looks pretty comfortable back there. So I'm thinking instead of setting up a tent, I might just uh, zonk out right here on this front seat. Good night guys.
I woke up a little bit cold. I had to turn the car on, get the seat warmers going. It's just slightly over freezing outside. Hey bud, we're gonna get up in a little bit. We need to get dressed. Well, things were pretty slow yesterday when I didn't see anyone catching any fish. So I think we should try another beach and mix things up a little bit. You know, I've had a lot of people online tell me that I need professional help, and I think they might be right. We didn't catch anything yesterday, so we are gonna go meet up with a fishing guide who specializes in surf fishing for halibut. We're gonna see if the professional can't put us on some fish. Hey Randy, how you doing? I'm doing, doing well, good, sir. Doing, how are you? Doing good. So we're going to be going fishing with Randy here and his company is Compassion Through Fishing and I, I hear you are the grandfather of halibut fishing from the beach around here. Yeah, so we're, we're introducing a little bit of surf fishing to the communities up here, helping folks to be successful from the beach. Yes, sir. You? You looking forward to it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here. Awesome. Yeah. These gentlemen down here have got a bait cannon. This is my good friend, Bait Cannon Bob, right here. He's <laughs> Hi, how you doing? fishing full. We love this Pleasure guy. Pleasure to meet you. Oosh. Grab it, I'll use it again. Let me just wrap it in newspaper. Oh, nice. It's a giant spitwad gun. They wrap their lead and bait in newspaper, shove it down the barrel, and psh, shoots out. One thing you learn about surf fishermen is they are obsessed about trying to get out just a little bit further. He swim right at you. He's on now. Didn't even feel that. Yeah, see that? It's a, little, it's a little flounder. How on earth did he get that hook down his throat? Check out that. It looks like he got something over here. That's a Pacific cod. Yeah. Real good meat. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Let's go. Pulling good, eh? Woo. <laughs> the halibut bite hard. <laughs> oh, no skate, guys. It's a type of shark right there. He doesn't have a poisonous thorn on him. He just has these little spines on his tail. Yeah, buddy. Here you go. We're getting close to high tide and we're off to a good start. Oh, there you go. Oh. Nice halibut. Yeah, it came off and everything. Yeah. You want to do the honors, buddy? You, you want to bonk him? Oh, I got a double. We're gonna come under these lines. Oh, That's what it's about right there. That's what it's about. All right. Get it while it's getting good, okay. right? You got that? Now you reel it. I think you just got the coolest thing. Yeah, you got a shark. Go, buddy. It's a dog shark. Yeah, see, look at this. He got a, he got a big spine right there on it. Oh, wow. You want to come hold him? That's what it's about there, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. What is that? The halibut and stuff. Jacob, what did you think of that? Yeah, it was cool. Do you see his green eyes, Jacob? Yeah. No, not a shark. <laughs> nice. Jake. Uh, that's a hell of it. You want to come in here? There we go. Yeah. Now I can just grab him. Nice hell of it, buddy. Thanks, Dad. Oh. Well, that halibut liked the hooligan, so I guess we'll try some more hooligan. Okay. All right, it's leftover time. You know, this shish kebab tastes more like hooligan than I remember. Hmm, not sure why.
Said you could set that really is a nice halibut. Yay! How close to the ocean? That's making tracks. Nice. Oh. There we go. Nice big ski. Oh, -ho. another halibut. Not too bad. Well, the tide's going out pretty good and it's time to call it. I'm tired. We've had a wonderful time. I really am my rods to go home and there's another little halibut. Oh, a cute little guy. Not as big as yours, Jake. Do you love that your halibut was bigger than daddy's? Yeah. Yep. There you go. Perfect. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> white. It's been a while since I've done this. Out of the way now to do the hard one. I forget what I saw. Just these two little fish got me loads of fillets. That was fun, but we have a long drive back home. If you want to do this too, I'll put a link to Randy's charter service down in the video description below. All right, we got to get back home. We got some fish to cook. Hey. Oh, I'm so tired. I think it's time to make some halibut. All right, got the skin off. Open the door for me? Sure. Yes. We're ready to rock and roll. All of these halibut nuggets just came from half of one fish. That's amazing. All right, Jake, you gonna have some? Mm -hmm. I don't have some of this. You gonna have some pineapple? And no hot sauce. And no hot sauce in a different outfit, you know? <laughs> he's, he's shown me a few. You didn't eat one? Yeah, I didn't know. We got a beautiful halibut tacos with cilantro, lime sauce, a little lettuce, pico de gallo. Yeah, not too bad at all. What do you think, baby? Like it? <laughs> you guys like the tacos? Was good. Love the tacos. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Out of seven kids, seven of them ate the halibut. I don't think you can get that with pizza sometimes. You know. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was some good food. Did you enjoy the tacos, Tom? Yeah. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.